Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. I was hoping to do a live stream today, but you might be able to hear it in my voice. I've had a little bit of a cold the last few days. Nothing serious, but my voice is shot. And so I figured, hey, why not do a quick, shorter video than a hour plus live streams that I like to do. So I figured we'd get a quick update on these markets. The altcoins are hot right now. We're seeing some nice rallies across the names, specifically some of the big cap names including Ethereum, which is always a good sign. So we'll certainly take a look at that. In my last video, which I posted last Thursday, I was talking about the BTC dominance hitting 70%, the overly bearish sentiment in the altcoin space. You looked at Twitter and crypto YouTube and all that stuff. And you know, just in a very short five, six days or whatever it's been since then, um, we've seen quite the shift in the sentiment with the recent rally in the alts and so we'll take a look at that here looking at the coin market cap here of course BTC dominance is still up there but it's good to see it coming down a little bit is this the beginning of a bigger move for the alts or just another one of those short-lived rallies counter trend rallies that we've seen several times here over the last several months I certainly hope so I hope it's uh, we see a little bit more of a retracement in the BTC dominance even if Bitcoin continues to go up it's always nice when the alts are outperforming on the way up, which we've seen here recently with Ethereum. And so look, keeping an eye on that here, many of the alts are starting to form some nice bottoming patterns on the broader time frames. We'll take a look at some of the bigger cap names and just kind of follow up on some of the items uh, that we were looking at during the last video here. So looking at BTC, I'll move through this one quickly because not a lot has changed here on Bitcoin since the last update. Price is very flat. And in fact, if you look at the most recent several days, it's been trading within the range that it sets here on this last green candle. You can see if we go wick to wick, price over the last five days has traded within that green candle. Not a lot of movement. Price is very flat. Volatility has completely dried up here on this price range. But as we know, that doesn't last forever. So got to stay vigilant here. The alts, meanwhile, are enjoying this. We're seeing some very positive alt BTC pair action but I'm going to keep an eye on this because it's going to be interesting what happens when this finally resolves itself here. Does it finally break to the downside and put a little bit of a pause on the alt party or do we break to the upside? And if we do, that's going to be interesting to see if the altcoins continue to outperform on the way up. So certainly something to make note of here. There are some interesting events coming up related to the B the Bitcoin ETF here in the coming weeks and months so into October. Uh, there are some final decisions that have to be made on a few of those. And so that's going to be interesting to see which way that goes, especially with this chart really starting to set up and coil up here for a big move going into October. So a few things are really starting to line up here on the altcoin front. So let's start with ETH BTC here first, because that's been one of the stronger names. And as I say, it's always a good thing when Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin on the way up here. Now we know Bitcoin has been flat, the price of ETH USD has been rising, so hence you get this nice strong ETH BTC pair chart moving off the lows here. A few things to make note of here, we mentioned in the last video the bullish divergence that was showing up over the last couple of weeks as price continued to make new relative lows, the MACD histogram, the RSI on the daily charts were not confirming those new lows since that video of course we've seen a nice rally followed you know following this higher low that was set ultimately it cleared this near-term resistance right in this range and we've seen volume expand as price has rallied off the lows very positive to see those signals there when you see volume coming in off the lows seeing some short covering but seeing some breakouts some momentum coming in all very good things look at the shorter time frame here in a moment just want to kind of talk about this because there's a couple of things to make note of here the white line on my chart is a longer term moving average here I believe that in this case it's the 50 day moving average you can use hundred but it's always good to see price finally getting back above you can see that back in June price was below that longer term moving average and you can also see that the 10 and the 22 EMA the shorter term moving averages were starting to fan out and move downward from that point that's also the point where those moving averages had a bearish crossover and they remained bearish up until the last couple of days here 
in the last few days, we've seen a bullish crossover from that 10, 22 EMA as price has continued to rally higher. And now we're getting price above that 50 day moving average on the BTC pair. So looking positive from the longer term picture, does it mean that that is the ultimate low? Time will tell. It certainly has the potential to be a decent low before we get a broader rally. I'd like to see a higher low again so set to confirm that on that daily chart. But for now, things are looking very strong, very positive. Daily chart is starting to get up there on the RSI, has room to run. It is approaching that next resistance level on that BTC pair, which is right around here. You're seeing a little bit of a pause there. The next level above that would be around that 224 level on the BTC pair. Now, personally, I've started to rotate out of ETH and I was long EOS as well. Um, and just kind of locking in those gains just because we've seen such a very strong move in a short run. And I generally like to take profits into some of this strength, especially when the four hour chart is starting to hit a little bit oversold levels in the near term. What I'd like to see here is either a sideways action pause or a pullback that holds above that 22 EMA on that chart. If it pulls back to the 22 EMA, that also get it right back to this prior resistance, which it broke out of. It'd be a nice place to set up a consolidation for another run higher but for now it's been a very strong move very nice to see ETH showing some life again it bodes well for the broader altcoin space and we're seeing a few other names starting to really set up and show similar price action here at the lows so remember this price action i was looking at the rsi divergence with the price if we look at some of the other names names like eos which has been strong here as of late similar price action here not quite as strong as ETH in the last few days but still marching higher starting to form a little bit of a trend you had that rally higher pullback higher low to the 10 ema and then another rally making a new higher high if we go to that four hour chart here again similar action just pulling back very constructive pullbacks too i mean this was you know textbook flag there a little bit of a breakout starting to follow through and the volume was very bullish as it broke through above that downtrend line so all in all positive action to see remember that first move off the low you know, it's always kind of that telltale sign, you know, what are the stronger names off that low? And then you get that pullback, you want to see a higher low set, which we did see here. And then of course, seeing some follow through, and that starts to translate into a potential trend change forming on these daily timeframes. And that's the key, right? I haven't seen any long term buy signals yet. Certainly, there's been some great trades to be had on the short term timeframes. But from a long term chart perspective, this is the beginning of potentially starting to form some long term buy signals on those charts signifying that they may have hit a near term low versus Bitcoin. Time will tell if September was the low for many of these alts versus Bitcoin. They've just been in a bear market since April after Bitcoin had that breakout. We've seen a steep pullback in just about every single alt name out there versus BTC. And now we're starting to finally see that reversal, which Let's see if it's a little bit more than a few days. It's looking positive. Personally, I'm liking the action, but got to keep an eye on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is sitting very flat, very tight, could go either way. And that will absolutely have an influence on these altcoins, depending on which way that moves here. So a few other names here that are on the radar. Let's look at some of the big cap names. Cardano. We've mentioned the divergences already on Cardano. If we look at that broader daily chart, it's rallied right to that 50 day EMA. It's also right at some resistance, really setting up for a potential breakout here. Definitely one to be watching. Volume is coming in as it starts to rally higher. So getting above this little zone here on the daily chart will be very positive. You can see looking left here a little bit more going back to late mid June. That was also a low point here swing low before the rally ultimately broke down and ever since that point has been able to unable to rally back above that and here we are coincided with the 50 m day moving average so i'd like to see this guy break out to the upside definitely one i'm watching here neo is another one i'm keeping an eye on here neo btc has had a strong move off the lows volume coming in again very similar on the daily chart right to the moving averages on the four hour time frame has broken out above this near-term resistance here over the last several candles it is pulling back here a little bit rsi certainly was getting up there on that four hour chart so some of these really need to either pause or cool off a little bit with some sideways action to help kind of reset some of these prices but certainly very good all around ontology one i'm watching here as well watching this one break out pull back made a higher low really starting to rally again and trying to take out some near-term resistance here on this chart and highlight that for us 
this is what I'm watching here as it starts to break out higher on the daily chart again they look like they're just getting started and if the rally continues on the daily time frame they've got plenty of room to run before they hit anywhere near oversold conditions or overbought conditions excuse me um, and also when you start looking at major swing highs in the last several weeks in the last several months you know those are the major targets to be looking on the way up and from a percentage basis those are some significant moves on many of these names even after the rally that they've had here over the last week i mean if you look at that first major swing high you're talking about 35 percent just at that point up to the next level that's 90 percent. i'm not saying these are all going to double but that's just the potential from a percentage basis that so many of these names have after this very long drawn out a very steep decline that they've seen here over the last several months so even a nominal bounce in some of these altcoins will turn into some very high percentage gains versus BTC so definitely worth noting there uh, Raven Raven BTC here another one again has had a huge huge fall from the the peaks that we saw here but if you look in the lower time frames I'm watching this potentially setting up as an accumulation zone it's starting to really flatten out here go into the lower time frames here on the four hour chart we can see here in the last candle or two a little bit of a breakout attempt over this resistance as volume came in to push it higher so we want to see it now hold above some of these moving averages here in the near term so so many other names we could go through again the picture is very similar if you caught the live stream last friday uh, we went through so many charts and it was almost like a broken record for me there was just a lot of very close similarities for most names uh, a few others that i'm watching here uh, matic is holding up range bound right now i'm watching this one for a potential breakout of this range relative to BTC. Uh, Cosmos has been one of the stronger names as of late, still marching higher on this daily chart off the lows. Very strong looking chart there. If we look at Litecoin real quick, uh, there's a few others. Um, Litecoin again had issued some buy signals off these lows, but still moving higher, very nice action versus Bitcoin. And as I said, when these are outperforming Bitcoin, it's always positive for the all overall alt space. So when the big cap names start to move off the lows, it really starts to signify a little bit of risk on, if you will, for the crypto space. And generally, they move in waves. You'll see, you know, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple, ETH, Litecoin, EOS, some of those names start to move off the lows first. And then you'll see that trickle down to some of the other names, maybe the mid cap names. You'll see names like Bat and Engine. Uh, and then it'll work its way down. When you start seeing all the really small cap micro cap names really start to take off after some of these names have had a big move then i start to get nervous because generally that's the way the rotation goes it kind of lowers down the tiers in terms of vol uh, volume liquidity and quality uh, and then when the last of the the names are running generally it's a good sign for moving back into some bitcoin it's just kind of a broader cycle that i keep an eye on here ripple has had a nice move off the lows here in the last couple of days very strong action again on high volume but we are seeing some signs of profit taking on some of these moves here recently going to the daily chart again looks like maybe just getting started after about a month and a half or so of some consolidation at the lows potentially setting up at a little accumulation zone the fact that the volume on the daily candles is coming in very strong relative to the last several weeks is a positive even if in the near term the one hour charts the four hour charts start to pull back and consolidate a little bit the daily charts are starting to really signal potential reversals here again got a long ways to go before we confirm what is going to be confirmation for me getting these short-term moving averages to cross bullish and then getting them to cross above the longer moving averages as price starts to trend higher higher lows higher highs that's what i'm going to be looking for near term very good action but again is it a uh, long-term signal? Not quite, but it certainly makes for a good risk-reward level if you're interested from that perspective. Uh, Stellar, again, following in suit with XRP, seeing some very strong action in the Stellar Lumens after, again, a very steep pullback here that we saw over the last several months. Many of these alts are just, the long-term daily charts are just not pretty. <laughs> and so it's nice uh, little change for once, but if you put it into perspective, I mean, these are just tiny blips uh, compared to the big picture that we've seen here, but doesn't mean, uh, at least from a trading perspective, doesn't mean that you can't certainly take advantage of these very nice moves that we've seen here in the last several days. Looking at the automated watch list here, 
I'm just going to focus on the Binance names right now. A few names that are, of course, not surprising. Tron, ETH, XRP. We're seeing Binance on here, Neo, Cardano. Uh, some smaller cap names even, right? We're seeing Nano and Walton on here. Lunar, there's a name from yesteryear. Uh, Waves, AMB. So quite a few names really hitting the list. Uh, a, a pretty mixed variety to a lot of big cap names, which is generally a good sign when I see a lot of big cap names on the list. It uh, kind of shows a little bit more depth in the market's participation, but you're also seeing some small cap names on here. Icon, there's one that I wanted to point out here. Another one that I am keeping an eye on right now, again, on the daily chart, has had a pretty deep pullback. Uh, we saw some volume kick in here a few weeks ago. That was on some project updates here, some fundamental changes there, but that did hold. It made a higher low on the daily chart, pulling in right now, seeing some volume kick in here on this four hour time frame as it attempts to break above this very near-term resistance getting back above that then the next major resistance level is going to be the highs made from a few weeks ago so that's going to be the next major target on the way up so quite a little bit of room to run there if it wants to get going so another one that i am keeping an eye on here but again at the end of the day it's going to be real interesting to see how some of these alts play out if bitcoin decides to finally break out of this range and we've seen it before when bitcoin dumps that's usually enough to put the brakes on any kind of altcoin party we're seeing. But on the way up, it's going to be interesting to see if the alts hold their ground versus Bitcoin. Or if we see what we've seen over the last several months when Bitcoin rallies, you see a flood of capital out of the alts back into Bitcoin. We'll see if that finally changes this time. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.